Welcome to the Poetry Moment, featuring Michael Cody's poem, Assembling the Parts. I'm Sean Sebastian Nock. Michael Cody has a time machine theory of sorts. People, and especially artists, can return to a moment in the past, knowing that moment's future, he says. This poem illustrates that theory of returning to a place in time, knowing how significant that place in time will be in the future. Here, it's a sunny side of Route 84 in Hartford, Connecticut, with the speaker in the poem taking a picture of an empty lot where a factory used to sit. The Underwood Typewriter Factory, in fact, where Cody's father used to work in the 1920s assembling typewriters. And though you can photograph a spot, Cody explained in his interview on Hoko Polizzo's The Writing Life, things have faded like ink on a page, but memory remains. This poem sits poised on the seesaw of choices his father made to stay in America or to return to Ireland. Cody said, I'm fascinated by the idea of fate or chance or whatever it is that shapes our lives, especially the question of how our parents meet, that central mystery for everybody. If Cody's father hadn't gotten tuberculosis, he never would have returned to Ireland so his mother could nurse him back to health. And he never would have gone into the Forester's Hall to hear the band where a young woman piano player would bewitch him from the bandstand. In short, the poet's father met the poet's mother. They fell in love in that crowded dance hall and married three months later. In 1939, the future poet was born in carrick on sur in County Tipperary, Ireland, where he still lives. He has published six books of poetry, some illustrated with his photography, and has taught at institutions such as Villanova University. This poem's title is Coy, playing on both his father inside the factory, assembling typewriters, and the poet, assembling the parts of his family what Cody calls emotional archeology. span When Cody received the O'Shaughnessy Poetry Award, the Center for Irish Studies introduced him this way. Michael Cody writes out of a fundamental sense of life's abundance. Someone else's country can be his country as well. Absence becomes just another form of presence. And in many of the ways that matter most, the dead are not really dead. And now, Assembling the Parts by Michael Cody. Assembling the Parts. Standing in sunshine by Highway 84, I'm photographing a factory which is no longer there. Looking for my father by an assembly line which has halted and vanished into air catching the sepia ghost of a young, tubercular Irishman who's left a rooming house at 6 a.m. in a winter time during the Depression when my mother is still a girl, playing precocious violin, a miraculous medal under her blouse, in Protestant oratorios in Waterford. A pallid face in the crowd in a dark winter time, he's coughing in the cold, assembling typewriters in Hartford, Connecticut, waiting for blood on his pillow to send him home, where he'll meet her one ordinary night with the band playing Solitude in the Forester's Hall. Fifty years on, he's nine Septembers dead, and a tourist in sunshine by Highway 84 is photographing a factory which is no longer there, assembling the parts of the mundane mystery the common enigma of journeys and unscheduled destinations, the lost intersections of person and place and time uniquely fathering every man out of the dark.